Five Exercises to Get Rid of Lower Back Pain, Part 4. Hi, my name is Olaf, and today we're going to stretch our abductors. I've done in a previous one adductor, abductor is on the other side. And what that muscle does is it literally pulls your leg in this direction. And in order to stretch it, you have to go over the center line and you have to go in this direction. And so you take your rope, put it on your foot, and you go in this direction. And what you're going to do, adjust the rope. Everyone has different size quads. What you want to do is you want to get your leg as close to the quad on the other leg as possible. You don't want to go up to here and stretch it. You want to be as close as you possibly can. If the quad on the opposite leg is just really large, then you just have to come up a little bit. But basically what you're doing is you're doing this stretch right here. You're pulling it across the center line. Basically, you see how this is? I have my legs crossed. You're basically going in that direction. And then this is neutral. So you go one and two, and you let it go. One and two, and you let it go. One and two, and you let it go. And you're going to feel something in here. This is sinuous or, or um, fibrous tissue. Basically, the muscle is just right in here. There's fibrous tissue all the way along here. And you want to loosen that up some. And you hold it for two seconds, feel good hurt, and you let it go. Hold it for two seconds, feel good hurt, and you let it go. And then I just showed you a trick technique on how you can get yourself up and down. Basically, if you want to sit up easily, you, all you do is you hold on to the rope and you bring your leg down and you come up. You don't even have to fire your stomach muscles. So when you switch, that's how you do it. So this one's now going to go in this direction. One and two, and you let it go. One and two, and you let it go. One and two, and you let it go. And that is a way in which you can stretch. There are other ways to do it, but that is a very comfortable way on the floor that you can do an abductor stretch. I've already talked about the rope in a previous video, but if you happen to have missed that, there is a link below that you can find out how you can get a hold of this rope. So that's part four. Be sure to check out my last video. And if you enjoyed this stretch, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the link below. And if you want a whole bunch more stretches, visit my website, stretchawayloverbackpain.com. Thank you.